Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. Team of the Group stage is officially out, and with it, more EA mistakes, or so we think. The issue arises inside of Evolutions once again, which we're going to cover in today's video. And of course, we have to talk a lot about the market, these new Team of the Group stage cards, and more leaked content of, yes, Evolutions set to come, and a lot of player SBCs that are set to come as well. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. It's a Saturday video, guys, so you know we have a lot to discuss after yesterday, promo Friday. A lot of things were dropped in this game. Let's start by going to objectives, where we actually have a couple of good things of note. First of all, Team of the Group stage, Luis Alberto with a four-star, four-star boost. Not a bad card with Finesse Plus, a pretty easy objective to get done. Syria squads will help be helped out by that one there. And then we have two completionist objectives, which are both, I think, pretty nice. We have a puzzle SBC completionist, which is not as nice, but it does give you some decent packs at the end as well for an 81 times 11. This is the cool one. If you like grinding the menus, here's an opportunity to A, make coins, and B, open packs. First of all, league SBCs giving tradable, untradable packs. Every time you do either the Mixed League or the Premium Mixed League SBC, which if you do each of those 10 times inside of this, so 20 times in total you do uh, the League SBCs combined, you're getting really solid 84 double, 83 doubles, like every single time through. And at the very end, you get an 84 times 5. This is a really good objective for those of you guys that like to grind the menus. Maybe if you're trying to save packs for Team of the Year or just open packs during this promo right now, it is great. What it also does is it creates a great opportunity with more demand to go and trade with some of those lower tier cards on the market. I think a League One Silvers might be a part of the market that's moving a bit because of more demand in those League SBCs. League One Silvers are 1,200 coins right now. Those are Silvers that are very needed for the League SBC. I bet everything that is needed for the League SBCs has gone up and that creates good trading opportunities. So, W way to make coins if you're on a low budget with those cards there and also doing the League SBCs. Maybe wait till a little bit later on in the week. Prices could cool off just a little bit there and they would be a little bit cheaper. Now, let's go over yesterday's SBC content for Team of the Group stage. We had not one, but two massive player SBCs. The first one, we got the Eusebio guys. Four star, five star, and again, it's 18 squads. Less squads in player of the month than Mbappe. And just to zoom in on the price straight away, it is 2.8 million coins. There's only 289 rated squads. Uh, there are a lot of 86, a lot of 87 rated squads, some team of the week requirements. But actually, what you're getting here is a card that was just a couple days ago, 3.8 million coins for 2.8 mil SBC price. Again, 3.8 literally before this SBC was leaked and then dropped. It's an insane icon card. It's an insane striker that you could use in your team for months on end. So if you want to do this SBC, I think it's one of those that you could set out to craft. It is out for a long time. It's out for nine weeks. So it'll be out plenty long during team of the year. If this is an icon SBC that you want to craft, GG's to EA for that one. That was a lot cheaper than I think a lot of us expected. That was a huge SBC yesterday. And of course, you have to look at my team for the other SBC that was dropped. I did the Harry Kane straight away, guys. Wara SBC. This is the one that a lot of people did yesterday, too. They gave him first touch plus. Um, he does not have any scoring traits. He doesn't need any. This is, again, guys, like the team of the season, Harry Kane from last year. You just press shoot. And it goes in. I mean, I've played eight games with him already in champs. He's got 15 goals. He wins a ton of headers. Um, and again, he just shoots the ball incredibly. His passing is insane as well. Great for hold up play. But best of all, he's cheap, right? 190,000 coins to get this Harry Kane SBC done. What it really moved yesterday on the market was a lot of players from Bayern. A lot of those Bayern links. We shouted Sané in yesterday's video, and Sané's card has almost doubled in price. He was 65,000 coins, and Sané just now, I saw, is over 100k. He just keeps flying, man. Oh my gosh. Leroy Sané is 110,000 coins. He just keeps going up because everybody needs Bayern Munich links. I think even some of Musiala's uh, like his Centurions card 
was up like 20 or 30,000 coins. Oh, even more than that. This Centurion's Musiala was 160. He's now 215. Crazy rises on Bayern cards. This is probably the peak of a lot of those. So if you have those Bayern cards, I would think about selling them pretty soon. Um, unless they're in your team and you're rocking with Kane, whatever it may be. But Kane made a lot of those Bayern and Bundesliga players go up a lot yesterday because he was a W price, very well received. You see both Eusebio and Kane, 88% upvoted and 85% upvoted. Um, both great SBCs making the market move. Of course, Eusebio, we say cheap, right? Cheap because he was 3.8, now an SBC for 2.8 mil. It's expensive, but it's good value, right? Kane is actually cheap, being two squads and only 190,000 coins. So, with that, let's take a look at the team that was dropped in packs as well. We were wondering once again about the playstyle pluses, and we were wondering about the stat boost, and they did a pretty good job, right? 90 rated Griezmann, 90 rated Musiala, 91 Saka with a playstyle plus of power shot, Barella with Tiki Taka, Rodrigo, dead ball. Um, Alvarez with flair a couple of these are a little bit underwhelming but they did the business on a lot of them as well Phil Foden with his first special card of the year gets himself finesse plus it's kind of like the Jack Grealish they dropped uh, during the triple threat promo right but he's got a finesse plus which makes his card very interesting he's got technical he's got flair first touch and a quick step so only 260,000 coins Cancelo is a card that is making waves on this game right now as well just to highlight a few of, of these uh, Cancelo got a nice boost, but he got whipped cross or whipped pass plus. This might be the best right back in the game with that play style now being able to whip in the crosses um, and still with technical dribbler that he's got, still with the Trivella that he has to be able to shoot those shots and the block play style as well. Everybody loves his trailblazers. This card is one that started off cheap yesterday and went up a lot because people are really, really interested in this Cancelo. But the rest of the team, big names, right? And I will say this, the pack weight's not amazing, but uh, these cards are insane to trade with. Team of the group stages are incredible to make coins off of. They're doing the fluctuations multiple times so far Friday night into these early Saturday morning hours. I've just sold a couple more um, of the Alvarez that I had picked up. These guys are moving great. So we're going to watch those prices and talk about that a little bit later on today. But overall, it's a solid team. I know some people are like, ah, Nate, I mean, it's the same used cards again, right? Well, just as EA mentioned, this is a promo that is kind of acknowledging players who did the best during the knockout stages of Champions League, Conference League, Europa League. So it's kind of a team of the week of sorts. These are not live cards. It's going to get confusing. People are going to be like, oh, Nate, these get upgraded. They do not get upgraded. These are one-time static boosts, and I think EA did a pretty solid job with it. Now, also, we finally have the heroes in packs as well, but only half of them until later on today yes there was team one and team two they're kind of doing it in a split release of these uefa heroes and uh so right now we have tevez a betty pele company and some others that are in packs the other half of the team if you're wondering where in the world is wesley schneider lisa razu dudek berbatov mcmanaman those are coming into packs today guys yes they are coming in packs today so watch out for more cards dropping into packs today with the heroes from team two that's how ea decided to go about it and um i mean these cards they actually got packed a decent amount yesterday you can see there were some prices that looked pretty good already bomb pastor is an absolutely insane card for 200,000 coins uh with the d1 arkema links as well i think people might even be dropping basha to use bomb pastor insane card a company looks great for 800k I would expect these guys to probably continue dropping, but they've had some fluctuations. I flipped a food tray from 800 to 879. A Betty Pele was just under 800K. He's now above that. And then even on the cheaper side of things, Risa for 60K, Ole for 27,000 coins, uh, Guli for 152, really, really solid card. So watch out for those moving today on the market a bit more. Um, and then EA also mentioned in the webpage that they were going to have more uwcl stars i don't know if you remember guys like the leaks for guijaro that we had uh before i think some of these cards could be potentially entering packs today uh since there was four or five of them leaked i just imagine that some of these could be entering packs today with the second release of the heroes team two that's just a guess i don't know for sure uh, but uh we are getting these cards in packs today so i would assume ea would want to throw something else into packs with them and other than that there was a whole not a lot of other news about the promo team or even evolutions on the ea website that was the biggest thing 
right there. Now, let's talk about the issue, all right? Let's talk about where EA needs to fix some things. It's the one part of content that we have not looked at yet. Yes, it is, once again, the evolutions, guys, because they dropped not one, but two evos yesterday. Let's start with the first one, the dribbling sensation evolution. Man, is it easy to complete. Win one squad battles game to get plus one shooting, passing, dribbling, plus two defending and physical, and then win one more game to get some more plus ones, twos, and threes, and a press proven play style. It is a small upgrade, and it's very, very easy to complete, but this isn't even one that we really have an issue with, although technically, EA showed Chow Many on the load. They, they tweeted out or put on their Instagram yesterday. They showed Chow Many in this evolution, and you actually cannot do Chow Many in this Evo. He does not fit uh, the stats that are there. That's the problem with this Evo because they said it was going to be good. I mean, this is a decent Evo. Let's be honest. It's not bad. It's just kind of it's kind of there, right? I mean, max 84, 84 pace, overall 84. It's just kind of there. It's a small upgrade. But maybe it's an upgrade for a multiple step Evo process that you're doing. I feel like feel like we can't complain about this one too much because this is just not that big of an upgrade. Now, the one that we do need to be fixing at EA Sports is this FC Founder. This one right here. This is the one that was leaked. We talked about it a couple of days ago. And you're like, Nate, why is there a problem with this? This evolution looks insane. You get five-star skills. You get a nice boost. Plus three shooting. Plus three passing. Two dribbling. You can see the Colo Mani card here looks nice. And imagine that card with five-star five skills as well. The problem with this evolution is, guys... It doesn't fit all of the Founders players. Like, if I go to my club and I search up Julian Alvarez, who is my Founders Evo, who EA told us once again, EA told us that this is going to be a card that I should be able to upgrade with the second Founders Evo. He does not fit because of the shooting requirement. And as we looked at a bunch of cards yesterday, Darwin Nunez, uh, Timo Werner, Dan Juma, a lot of popular cards, evo cards that people did for that very first founders evo they do not fit because of the shooting requirement and once again this is the exact wordage on ea's website these extra founders evolutions will allow you to continue to upgrade your founders player item this is why people think it's a mistake for sheriff was tweeting about it yesterday and also cited another picture that ea posted on their instagram guys they showed rodrigo with the ability to be evolved into this He's got 81 shooting, right? They're showing max 80 shooting in the evolution. I think that is where the problem lies within because this needs to be higher than 80 shooting. It needs to be like 83 or something like that so that we could do Darwin Nunez and all those cards that were in FC Founder 1 could be evolved one more time. So they've deleted the post since then. I would say there's a slight chance of this um, being fixed or being, I guess, uh, compensated if you will i don't know how they would compensate it it's, it's something that hasn't happened before so they'd probably have to figure out a way to do that anyways but before you go and race into doing this evo just realize that there might be something else going on there and also this this evo is nice like i'm gonna be honest if you want to change who you did from the first founders evo you definitely don't have to put your founders player into this i mean the kolomani looks insane the amount of combinations that you can come up with to get some really sick cards from this look crazy a lot of hype right now around a tammy abraham multiple step evo where you could get yourself dribbling sensation tammy to trade quartis the time to getting a four star three star with tiki taka um like that's that's a crazy looking tammy abraham card right there's plenty of different items that you could get out of this but also what you could do is potentially not do this evo right away and you could wait. It's out for 92 days, guys. Or 92 days from now is when you have to redeem it. This is a five-star uh, skill granting evolution. This is pretty big. And it's really easy to do. Play five and win three. And you get the five-star skills. So that is an evolution that you could put on somebody. I mean, the, the requirements, they, they are pretty broad. Like 94 pace, 80 shooting. This Ferran Torres that you can get out of this looks pretty cracked as well. So maybe it's one that if you don't, want to try to put your founders evo in it or wait for ea to mess with it and upgrade it you could wait you could wait because it is honestly a very nice evo for the upgrades that you get specifically with the five star skills plus three passing uh and three shooting four, i think four shooting in general no three shooting in general but the skill moves are, are massive so i'm gonna wait on this for now since there's so much time 
to put it in. You get the nice car design as well with the, the founder's triangle. So it's, it's definitely cool, but I think that EA has some fixing to do based off of what that founder's evolution is supposed to be and how it is in the game right now. Let me know down in the comments what you think about that, what you see with that SBC and, um, or not that SBC, the evolution. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get it fixed and upgraded because again, all of the founder's cards need to be upgradable from it based off of EA's verbiage. Now also, let's go to the store. They dropped some big boy packs yesterday. A lot of lightning rounds, not a ton, but a few. And also the Supreme Breakthrough Pack, which is the 83 times 70, is back. 51% chance of a UCL Team of the Group Stage player and a 33% chance of a men's Eero. That's crazy. That's a crazy odds for a 500k pack. They dropped a 400k pack as well, which is an 82 times 75 I mean, some pretty crazy packs yesterday, but the pack weight, I'll say it, guys. I'm going to open an 8320 right now. This is level 25. Man, I didn't hit any special cards yesterday. It looks like we're going 0 for 0 again. It's just the pack weight on these team, the group stage cards is not good. Wow. I really should have taken the 87 times 3. I wanted a lot of fodder. That's why I did this. But goodness gracious, that was that's it. One walkout. Wow, the club is empty though, um, and not anymore after getting a bunch of 83s and some 84s, but that's a little bit of pain right there to be completely honest, but you can tell that these cards are not getting packed a lot, guys, because of how rare they are on the market, which is making them really good to trade with. Yesterday, Musiala was all the way down at 800,000 coins. He's back up at 900k now. The fluctuations are insane. I picked up four, three Julian Alvarez on stream right as I was getting off the stream for 450, 460,000 coins. I just sold them a bit ago for like 516k. He's had that fluctuation two different times. Like I'll show you on the graph. Julian Alvarez went down to 450, went up to 500, like 520. That's where I sold him. He went down again to 460, and then boom, he's back up now to 520,000 coins. These cards fluctuate all the time, and it's crazy. I picked up a couple of Phil Foden's at 260. Right now, he's approaching 270. Um, that was a card, again, I think a lot of people will want to try out today. Uh, Griezmann was 600. He's coming back up. Saka was down in the low 700s. He went all the way to 800K. He's kind of down again. You can see he's 714. He just went up to 830 and is now down to 760. These cards are rare, man. And as you take a look on the market, like if I search Julian Alvarez with all cards, I want to see all the Julian Alvarez cards in the market. I go one page and that's it. He's got like 15 cards. That's actually 14 cards on the market right there. That's it. That's crazy. That is actually really crazy. These cards are rare, guys. A lot of people want to use them as well, but it's going to make them really good to trade with over this weekend. But you have to be careful with them still because, yes, they're rare. Yes, they're in demand, but you got to be careful with them because when there's times of panic selling and when there's times that people are trying to get rid of these cards, like before the content drop today, you'll want to be very careful with them and probably not hold on to them too much uh, because there's going to be um you know some some drops because people will be packing these cards more so again today there will be lightning rounds that'll be dropped there will be supply coming in today but it's going to make their fluctuations really really good rarity equals cash i think some of them will have rises this morning on saturday i think you'll see some spikes like we normally do even nick pope being 17k people might wake up today and be like yo let me try that card out um, so definitely watch out for that. I think you'll see some spikes into the morning today on Saturday. And then as we get towards content, probably see the prices drop down again, like we normally do. One thing I want to point out is, um, we have one extinct card right now. It's Gravenberge. And this makes absolutely zero sense. His price range earlier yesterday was 190,000 coins. EA updated Mbappe because he's no longer extinct. He's his max price went from 5.7 or whatever it was up to 11 mil he's sitting on the market at 6.2 they upgraded ryan gravenberch's price from 190k down to 140 makes a whole lot of sense not at all he's still extinct on the market that's a crazy scenario there uh also jonathan klaus i'm going to point out this card because he is crazy rare i don't understand why this card is really rare but it reminds me of the road to the knockout uh europa league cards that were really rare um earlier this year for that promo this card shouldn't be 260k in my opinion great card great card 100 percent. but he's just more rare than i think he should be on the market i don't know what's going on here with his pack weight but he's just rare he's also got the throw in plus long throw plus which is kind of a rare playstyle plus but uh, yeah watch out for that one and the same thing with the heroes guys uh like i mentioned i flipped a fudre 
these these cards are really rare as well uh, because a lot of people want to try them out. They got some nice boost. Again, Futre is 800k right now. I sold him for 880. He's got good fluctuations. A Betty Pele has had good fluctuations. Vincent Company. Um, these cards are pretty rare, but with the new heroes coming out team two today i'd still keep an eye on these i don't think i would go and buy a ton of them i would just say if you're going to try to trade with one they should be pretty good to trade with with their fluctuations because they are so rare so be watching out for those cards they are going to be great great pieces to trade with during this weekend now let's talk fodder for a second right because yesterday of course we had the eusebio of course we had the harry kane and we had the refresh of the icon sbc so nate how is fodder doing well because Eusebio was such good value, high rated fodder is up. 91 rated is like De Bruyne and Holland. Um, okay, 15K. That's crazy. Definitely not winning that. There's something fishy going on there. These cards are almost 70K. They are up a lot. De Bruyne is 69,000 coins. So that part of the market is up. 89s are almost 40K again. 90s are about 53 to 54. So they are up. Um, it's just because Eusebio was good value. The rest of the fodder market is still just chilling 87s are up a little 88s are up just a little um if those drop more today i think we could potentially get involved um i just don't i don't love the fodder market as much as i did after it rose up a lot yesterday because the sbcs were good i would need to see 88s dip back down to 22k i would need to see 87s dip back down to like 14,000 coins with lightning rounds today for me to want to make an investment for whatever icon pack will be coming out on sunday guys right i believe the icon pack that we have right now the centurions and base 87 plus it goes away on sunday so once this goes away we'll have a new one coming in i think that you might even be including thunderstruck icons in that upgrade sbc i think if we're going to invest at all we need to see some price drops today with lightning rounds which is possible i just don't think that the price drops would last that long so watch the lightning rounds today especially if we get that 86 plus deluxe lightning round that usually drops some prices pretty good all i'm saying is you basically need to see a drop on fodder today with some supply to be able to get involved and invested for what is upcoming now yesterday as well with that team of the week pack refreshing informs actually did go up they did they went from about 30 something thousand coins all informs were like 40k they're back down now um but there was so much demand of people going and doing uh the the icon sbc the refresh of it that informs went all the way back up i think they were like 38 39 thousand coins they're back now down to 32 i don't think i will be investing still if you did it yesterday great job ggs i think they went up so much because probably not very many people were investing for that refresh they didn't think they would go up as much with supply from lightning rounds but they did so ggs if you did but i still think i'm going to stay away with the team league player pick that is out and a lot of fodder available in objectives and packs there I think I'll be staying away and not investing in the informs right now as well. Now, for the rest of the out-of-packs market, look at the Dynasties cards. One day out-of-packs, did any of them rise? Lauren James is up like 20K. Reese James is up a little bit, of course. Sané is exploding. Actually, Oberdorf is up like 20,000 coins as well. But the rest of the promo team, besides, you know, five or six of them, are still about the same price. Timber went up. Uh, that was a very nice rise for him. Mendy is up. Teo Hernandez is up, but a lot of them are still like Anaki Williams. Hoyland's still 120K. Um, these cards did not move too much, but the fact that these went up a little bit and the rest of the market is just kind of chilling should be a good weekend to trade on this game. If you're doing fluctuation trades, okay, that's a low price for Zinchenko. 160K, he was 180 yesterday. Um, yeah, he was 195. Wow. He dropped off a lot. That's a card at 160K that I would be interested in. He could go back to like 175 today on this game. That sort of thing. Maybe 180 for some quick flip, quick, quick flip trades. I think I would say the out-of-packs cards look pretty safe. From the Dynasties promo, the Radioactive, uh, the Thunderstrucks as well. Some of them are playing games today and again this weekend for their final upgrades on the card. Make sure you use the trackers on Footbin to keep an eye on some of that uh, because some of these cards are live in their action and they're uh, potentially getting upgrades here this next week. So definitely keep an eye on the market. It seems like it should be a safer time to trade. Now, again, I do expect market prices to dip as we head into the content drop today. That's a, a common thing that we see on Saturdays for sure. Oh, I just unlocked my Evo for who I'm going to make red. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out who I'm going to make red. I'm going to unlock that Evo. Let's get that started. Uh, and then I think I want to end off here with one 
or two pack. I thought I had one more pack. Team of the group stage, Luis Alberto, and 82-2. Bang. Oh, content today on Saturday. I did mention another Evo leak, and we do need to get into that. Um, but we always have player SBCs on Saturdays. We always do, right? And we're still a little unsure when these Road of the Knockouts are going to be. Um, those are still leaked. But for an SBC today, Griffo, Di Lorenzo. If Di Lorenzo drops, watch Serie A cards because um, that could be a card kind of like how Harry Kane moved a lot of Bundesliga cards. This Di Lorenzo could move some of the Serie A cards if that's dropped. And then also could be Zubaldia was another leak. So those are the three players that we have leaked right now via SBC or objective, according to Foot Sheriff. So watch out for one of those three probably coming today. And uh, really quick before we talk Evo, let's rip these couple packs real quick. I'm still hunting a promo, man. Like, I'm I'm probably going to hit upgrade packs this week because this promo team has got so many big name players in it with pretty significant upgrades that uh, that was a decent 82 too, I guess. Like, I, I won't hit upgrades. I hope they drop the 78 plus player pick again. If not, I'll do the radioactive crafting upgrade just because this promo team has awesome players in it and they got nice upgrades. So like, I'm going to hit upgrade packs. I'm just uh, not seeing the pack weight being insanely good. Now, let's talk about this Evo leak. Rick tweeted this out, who's very reliable when it comes to the Evo leaks, that a budding Starlet Evo has been leaked. And it looks like you'll be able to take a pacey, lower-rated attacker and upgrade them. Max pace, 91. Maximum overall, 77. So a lot of gold non-rares, and I believe... Um, silvers have probably already been invested in for this again guys i would not invest ahead of time i would be very careful trying to invest in non-rares and silvers these are the type of cards that if you invest they go up like five to six thousand coins you can get banned for selling them on the market again be careful um maximum dribbling 83 shooting 80 must not be center forward that's random you can't have center forward so you can't ba you basically can't do a striker because all strikers have center forward secondary position. Max play style is eight. You get the play styles acrobatic and quick step, but you get plus 10 shooting, plus 11 dribbling, eight passing, and nine physical. And it makes a Doku card for his base gold look a lot better with the dribbling boost for sure. Uh, that's interesting. So I don't know when this leak is going to be. I don't know when this Evo is going to be. We have that and an all positions Evo. I, I think, I don't know if that was the one that was dropped yesterday or not. Uh, but we have a couple Evo leaks still out there for car, uh, Evos that could be dropping soon. But I have to wonder, let's check the market index really quick and see what cards are exploding. Uh, oh, Openda for sure. Openda, well, he wouldn't fit that Evo. He's got too much pace. I haven't looked through any of these cards that have gone up a ton recently, but I have to imagine that some of the cards that are going up a lot in the market, I think maybe Mudrick fits that evolution. Uh, that'd be a big name card that a lot of people would like to Evo. Maybe this Delafeu does too. Yeah, 90 pace. Well, 86 dribbling seems a, a bit high, but you can see that his card has kind of gone up. He spiked. Yeah, that must be in there for something. Maybe it is for the found yeah, FC founders too. Yep, that's the reason. That's for that one. That's not for the new one. But definitely keep an eye on those gold non rares Check your clubs. If you see a card that you have in your ultimate team on the front of Footbin because it's gone up, it's like 5,000. Like Braithwaite for 7.5K seven, seven for Braithwaite. I think that's for yesterday's Evo. He's up a lot. That's a card that if you have it in your club, you sell it. You shouldn't get banned for listing up one. Um, so you shouldn't have a problem with that. But watch out for leaks and cards moving based off of this Evo. It may be today. It may not be today. But one thing I will say about today is get some games in, get those champs games going, and get on the market if you want to trade a little bit, right? Again, I got the Fodens that I was uh, talking to you guys about. All these cards yesterday netted me probably, I don't know, if that's like 30K. This one I bought at 200, so that's also like 25,000 coins maybe a little bit more than that and then all these i bought at 450 to 460 so that was a nice little quick flip there a nice uh couple quick flip trades the market seems a lot healthier right now than it did the past couple of days prices seem to have leveled out a bit which is nice but we talked for too long that's the video for today guys team of the group stage i like it I'm, i know the cards are like you know tough to pack but it seems it's just like a good old promo it's a good old promo with boosted cards good stat boost and i'm a fan ea just Maybe drop some good SBCs for some packs as well so that we have a chance to pack these cards and maybe up the pack weight a bit. But uh, they're going to be great to trade with, and a lot of people want to use them since they're big-name players. That's the, that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nathan with Account, and catch you guys there. Peace.
out. <laughs>